What was your worst I overslept? Experience? Not exactly oversleeping. Someone pulled the fire alarm in my dorm during finals. I was sleep deprived and genuinely slept through the blaring siren in the hall. The fire department goes door to door with a master key and checks every room. They found me asleep. Middle of December. Middle of the night. They me line up outside with everyone else wrapped in a skimpy blanket and flip flops. They wouldn't let me dress. Until the building. Of 900 people. Was cleared. Probably a half hour but it felt like a week. I also got fined 50 bucks for ignoring a fire alarm. Shti. You can really get fined for ignoring one? I slept in until 9. 30 am thinking I had an exam at 2 pm. My friend turned up outside my flat phoning me and saying Ossie oh, so what's you doing the exam is at 10 am. Panicking I got dressed in less than 2 minutes and sprinted across the campus to where the exam was being held to find out I was right and it was at 2 pm. So while I didn't oversleep I may as well have considering I lost my morning off. I woke up in a cold sweat realizing I fell asleep with a massive term paper due that morning and I didn't even start it because it wasn't mentioned by the teacher, just listed in the syllabus. And my assistant things not right senses decided to wake me up on the day it was due at 4am. And I legitimately threw myself out of my bed. Full speed ahead. Then my brain started to warm up and I realized that I am in a country 6. 000 miles from my university. And that I graduated 5 years ago. And the professor no longer works there. I googled it. Just to be sure. In the military. Promotion results were coming out the next day. I had hurt my shoulder at the gym and the doc prescribed me a muscle relaxer. He told me to take two but I was talking with one of the nurses I worked with and she said to only take one to see how I would react to it. I took it at 7pm the night before and woke up at 10am the next morning. The promotion results had come at 8am. I had a ton of missed calls and a lot of texts congratulating me. A commander was looking for me to present my certificate too. I got there at 11am. Luckily. The nurse that I worked with had told them about the muscle relaxers. So I didn't get in trouble. It was still very embarrassing and I will never forget it. Great way to show that I deserved the promotion. I woke up at 13. 00 when I had a deadline by 12. 00. It really beats me why I didn't just turn it in before. But yeah. A few years ago I worked for a taxi hire car company in a semi-rural area. Amongst other things. One of my book's jobs was from debt to veteran affairs. War vets got free transport to medical appointments. Where they paid nothing but debt paid the company. My Saturday shift started 6. 30 am. Cos by 7 am I was supposed to be picking up an old man to run him to the hospital for dialysis. I woke up 6. 40 am and when I realized the time. I leapt out of bed. I had no time to drive to the depot and swap cars so I rang my boss in a panic hi boss. It's alcoholic snail. FCK I slept in but I'm on my way in now. What do I do? I'll go pick up X in my car if I have to. And my boss is like now. Nah. Yeah good. Come in. Grab the limo. The time they book for always factors in time to be early. Thanks for being honest. So in the end. I got the war vet to his appointment with about 5 minutes to spare. I miss those days. I had a great boss. Last day of middle school. Overslept the bus by 3 minutes. Slip on all of my clothes and run out the door to try and make it to school on foot. The school is 2 miles from my house. Almost entirely on an incline. At least you didn't have to go barefoot and naked in the snow like your grandpa did. First period teacher in high school was an asshole who made a big stink when students showed up late. Me being the timid student that I was feared this heavily. So I made sure to be on time to avoid the embarrassment. One morning I woke up and realized I slept in and had very little time to get to school. I got changed in record speed and was out my door in minutes. The walk normally took about 15 minutes. I was at the front doors of the school in like 7 minutes. But the doors were locked. It was Saturday. 
colon. Work from 6. 30-2. 30. -2. 30. Took a nap when I got home and looked at the clock and it read 6. Woke up at 4 p.m. for a 2 p.m. exam. Got into the exam hall when everyone else was handing in their exams. I wasn't allowed to write. Begged over email for a chance to write the exam. They agreed with certain conditions attached. Exam would only be worth 3 stroke 4 of what it normally is and my final grade also capped at 70%. I finished and got 70%. Close bracket. Later went on to drop out anyway. At my first job. One night I forgot to set my alarm and overslept. I'd never been late to work before and was in tears. Convinced I was going to be fired. My mom calmed me down and got me to work. No one even cared. So I panicked for nothing. I almost missed my college graduation because I had been up for days working on my final thesis. Graduation morning I was ready and was going to close my eyes for 20 minutes. I woke up and graduation was in 10 minutes. Never ran so fast in my life. In grad school. I lollygagged in renewing my lease on my apartment. When I did renew. Someone had already claimed my apartment. So I had to move two doors down. They asked me for a date. I picked a Sunday. Thinking that would be when my parents could help me move. What I didn't realize was that was the day before the final draft of my master's thesis was due. Semicolon. So we get everything moved. Then I work on my thesis. After pulling an all nighter. I reached the point where I thought I was about done but also so tired I stopped thinking. So I decided to take a nap for a few hours. The alarm clock didn't go off, or I slept through it. I woke up 2 hours before it was due. I was freaking the fck out. Semicolon. I actually didn't submit it until 2 and half hours after it was due. But they accepted it and never said anything. But the stress was unbearable. I disputed a fine and was to present in front of a judge to explain it. I arrived 15 minutes late. Where's still wet and with mismatched socks. I was struggling to attach a tie to. The judge was not impressed. Rejected my dispute and gave me a sermon about punctuality. That oversleeping cost me 600 bucks and some dignity. I was in college in the department I was a part of decided to do a roast. It was one of the last days of the semester so finals were here. Anyway. At the roast. Someone brought homemade apple pie moonshine. Made with Everclear. If you haven't had it before. Don't. Bad idea. So we're passing around a half gallon of the stuff and you can't taste the alcohol. You can only feel it warm your throat which is nice on a cold winter night in the midwest. I decided to leave since I had a final the next morning and I wanted to get a decent amount of sleep. I wasn't drunk when I walked out the door but as I was walking. The alcohol must have metabolized or something cause when I was about 4 blocks from my dorm. I woke up the next morning an hour after my final. Failed the class and embarrassed myself since my friends were in said class too. F king ever clear. In November. I came an hour late to my security job. Apparently I set my google home alarm at the wrong time. I felt bad because the person I relief is really nice and her husband was waiting to leave also. To make things worse she told me that her other relief comes late often and one time he came an hour late and he kept calling dispatch saying that he is close by. I just started working there in October so I didn't want to be that guy shows up super late. Not me but one of my old teachers. When he was in college he had a huge final coming up in a few days and he had already spent the last few days pulling all nighters and cramming. The final was on a Friday. And he decided he would get some sleep Thursday morning after another all nighter. When he woke up. He asked his roommate what time it was. His roommate said. It's 2. 0, zero. Do you wanna know what day it is? As it turned out. He slept from Thursday morning all the way to Saturday afternoon and completely missed his final. Luckily he immediately ran to find his professor. And she told him he could take it right then and there or else he got a zero. 
How the FCK does a human sleep for over 24 hours without FCK loads of drugs being involved. My GF was graduating college. She was French and so a lot of her relatives took the flight over to see her walk the stage too. Well I turned off the alarm while still sleep. I rushed to where the ceremony was and people were coming out. Terrible. Waking up in a blind panic. Getting dressed rapidly and rushing to work to arrive sweating. Only to discover I wasn't in that day. Ah. Going to work on your day off. I've done that. My roommate freshman year of college turned my phone alarm off one morning and I missed a final. I overslept because of alarm clock failure on a morning I was to play the organ for a 9 a.m. funeral. When the church office called. Wondering why I wasn't there early as usual. I scrambled to get moving, making it to the church just as the hearse was pulling up to the front door to bring in the coffin. In college during finals week. I pulled an all nighter writing a paper and studying for a final. The next day. I had an hour before the final and decided to take a 30 minute nap. I somehow slept through the alarm or turned it off and went back to sleep and the only thing that woke me up was my friend banging on my door to celebrate finishing his last final. I woke up. Looked at the time. Almost cried and sprinted to the final. I got there sweaty and disheveled with around 45 minutes left. I somehow finished it and passed. If I had completely missed it. I would have had to stay on an extra semester just to get enough credits to graduate. Uni cramming for exam so I was burned out. Figured T man. I'm 100% prepared and the exam isn't for half an hour. Sleep time bitches so set an alarm for 15 minutes later and passed out hair down on my table. Alarm either didn't go off or sleeping me just didn't give a FCK. I woke up 1 hour into the 2 hour exam and WT fed. I lived literally across the street from the science building so I didn't even get dressed or anything. I just gabbed my calculator and keys and ran barefoot in the snow across the street into the building and sat in my boxes and wrote furiously for the hour I had left. Prof gave me the WTF look when I walked in and I just told him overslept I'm an idiot and the guy was nice enough that when I handed in he told me to stick around. Then gave me the extra hour in his office after cause he felt bad for me. Guy was a good guy and I got very lucky. I had stayed up all night reviewing notes for a final. Set my alarm. Planning to wake early. Get a good breakfast. Clear my head. And do some last minute reviewing. Woke up and noticed the natural lighting inside of my room wasn't right and saw that my alarm had not gone off. And my final was in like 10 minutes. I had to do a half awake panicky routine of tridging my hygiene needs. Brush hair. Put on a hoodie. Run out the door in that plus PJ pants and flip flops and sprint to my classroom on the other side of campus. Got in just as the exam started. I took a nap once around 4pm. I worked the next day at 7am. I woke up and looked at the clock. It said 6. 15. Holy crap I'm going to be late to work. I got dressed in a panic and sped to work. I got into the parking lot at 6. 55 pm. Wait. What? 6. 55 pm. It was then I realized I only took a 2 hour nap. Thank god I didn't go clock in. Got called the night before to cover a shift someone called out for. Said yep. I'd be there. Hurry home from being out with a friend. And set an alarm for early the next morning. Well. My iPad, what I use for alarms, decided to not charge overnight. And consequently died before my alarm could go off. Woke up 2 hours after I was supposed to be there. I got called in specifically because I'm one of their most reliable workers. I sure wasn't that day. Oops. My favorite overslept story was one year on April Fools my dad had my brother and I sneak into my mom's room and change her alarm clock to a few hours ahead. She woke up freaking out and started to call work like omg I overslept I'm sore. While she was saying this my brother and I ran in the room yelling April Fools. We were little shts. It. 
I got home from school dead tired having not slept properly the night before. Just conking out then was not an option. So I decided to nap. Then get up to finish my homework. I woke up to pre-dawn light. And the clock read 7. 30. Exactly when my dad came by to take me to school. I loudly shouted FCK. Grabbed my bag and bolted for the door. Interrupting my mom and some very confused and alarmed guests just sitting down for dinner. I was up until 5am for some school function that the whole senior class participated in. They expected us to go home for an hour and then come back for a half a day of class and go to a pep rally. I got no sleep and went home and fell asleep. Woke up at 11. Apparently at some point my sister woke me up and said I had school. I said I'm not going to fking school and rolled over. I don't remember doing that at all. I was having a bad time with my mental health and despite having 3 alarms set. I finally got woken at 11. 30 by my workplace calling the landline phone. Apparently they were about to call the police to check if I was okay. Fking embarrassing but glad that they cared and didn't just assume that I was just messing around. I overslept for an end of year exam and was about a 5 minute car ride away when my mum's car broke down and I was already late for it. I turned up about 15 minutes late. Thankfully got through the exam okay. I tried to pull an all nighter before one of my first finals in college. Exam was at 10am and around 8am I decided to head up to my dorm and take a quick little nap. I had set alarms and everything. IDK what happened but my roommate's alarm woke me up at 10. 02. IDK why I was set for that, and I leaped off the bunk and sprinted across campus to the exam room. It was only 10. 09 and no one had turned their exam in yet so thankfully I was able to take it still all while sweating with an elevated heart rate. Biggest adrenaline rush and last time I ever tried to pull an all nighter. Missed a funeral after drinking a bottle of wild turkey with a friend talking about our old friend who had died. 38 years ago and I still feel bad about it. When I was in college I had to go home for a doctor's appointment one day and so I had to take the 2 hour bus ride back to Chicago. I stupidly drank the night before and woke up later than I wanted. I didn't have a ride. So I had to walk to the gas station where the bus stop is. Which was about 2-3 miles from campus and across a highway. It was really stupid of me. But it was early enough that there weren't any cars. I'm about 100 feet away from the gas station and I see my bus pulling away. It chased after it but the driver didn't see me and he pulled onto the on-ramp. I had no choice but to sit at that gas station and wait 2 hours until the next bus came because there was no point walking back to campus. Not me. But another counselor at my summer camp overslept once and ended up not taking the campers up to shower. I almost missed the funeral. Not me. But a guy that lived next door to me in my college dorm. We were both in this 8am seminar class that was complete bullshit. This particular guy skipped all the time. To the point where he would somehow miss crucial information in a seminar class. It was kind of annoying, anyway. He doesn't show up one Friday morning. None of us paid attention because he usually isn't there anyway. Come to find out he slept and actually by mistake this time. His alarm went off and he thought why is my alarm going off? It's Saturday? Goes back to sleep. Around 8. 30 his roommate nudges him and says dude. Don't you have class? No. It's Saturday it's Friday dude looks at clock fck. Guess I'm not going to my 8am. Came home from working 6a 2p shift. Was on Skype with my BF at the time and apparently nodded off. Woke up around 7 stroke 8pm but it was that light where things are dark yet softly lit. It was dusk but my brain thought it was dawn. I saw it was almost 9 and thought I had somehow slept through the night. Into the morning. While on Skype. And my BF didn't wake me up. I was so mad at him while scrambling yo get ready. He goes it's, whatever time, pm. And I about cried because I thought he not only let me sleep through the night but the whole next day. I finally put it all together and felt awful. 
Overslept first day of college forung by tutor. Ran out my nan's house in a profanity tank top and no sunscreen fun. Was fully clothed. Got clipped by a car crossing a street so I now have a bleeding elbow and knee which was turning purple and proceeded to have to run too. 5 miles in heat levels I can't handle getting sunburn and on a bruised bleeding leg which for about 3 days my kneecap kept sliding to the right which hurt like fck. Got they had to do an ice breaker sat next to the only person on my course who them turned out to be my mate's high school bully and I was sat between them. Got up end of first lesson knee collapsed and I broke my nose on desk due to having a very weak nose. And all of this caused my alarm clock ran out of batteries. Knee was fine within 5 days never had to get it checked nose just needed readjusting.